Outside of uh, me being the one that's been making you guitars for a long time, what do you look for in a guitar? A lot of people um, that are watching uh, this interview are trying to understand what they're looking for in a guitar, right? So when you're looking for a guitar, what are you looking for? Well, you know, when you catch a call and you can't breathe correctly, and you, and you feel, and no, and it feels like you're congested and stuff. Playing guitar, you don't feel like that. The best musicians that I've seen, they're, they're not thinking about it. It's one breath. It, it's almost like it's not, a, it's not a, a job or a burden to breathe in or breathe out. All of a sudden, they forget about breathing. They forget about what they're going to play or where the finger goes. And so having the right guitar in your hands gives you clarity of certainty in confidence. You know, clarity of certainty is really, uh, it makes playing ex extremely fun. You know, when, when, you, when you hit the note and you like, or, you know, you gotta tune the guitar or you gotta, I don't know if it, you, you don't know if you're in tune or something's wrong and then you spend the whole concert, you know, like, it's like grabbing something and right before you grab it, you kick it and it goes further and you go grab it again and try to grab it and you kick it again and it goes further, you know? And you, you, you spend a whole concert and you, or your whole life going on a journey to find something that you already had. Because he playing music is not to be or not to be. That's for Shakespeare. If you have to think to be or not to be, you have no business playing music. You know, where music is just is. You go to that note and that note is there. As juicy as you want it to be, as, as soulful as you want it to be, as significant as you want it to be. So you help musicians, you know, musicians who, who grab a Paul Reed guitar, it helps them with their confidence to know that now you're the one that has to get your story together. You're the one that has to like, you know, excuses because the guitar, the guitar is there. And you make it really easy for them, you know, to like wipe out the excuses. The guitar is in tune and it's going to stay in tune. What do you have to say that's meaningful, soulful, significant, and everlasting, that you have to uh, crystallize your existence. Because that guitar that you grab from Paul Reed, it's not about excuses anymore. Now, a lot of guitars say, well, you know, it's somewhere here and there, you know, like, and, and it could be over here. Whoa, you know, you can't go on stage like that, right? That's true. If you have a guitar and it's giving you, it, it, there are no more excuses. You have to just be able to play. The way I thought of it when I started first making guitars was that it needed to feel like an old T-shirt. As you put it on, you forgot you had it on. Exactly. And um, the whole idea was that you weren't worried about how it played. You didn't want to worry that the nose bu notes buzzed out. You didn't worry about it, it squealing or anything like it. You just wanted to plug in, play, be done with it. And, and still cool. to this day, when I give you a guitar, I get about five seconds where you decide whether all those things are in line or not. You know, I commend you because the army of people who is your body now, those people are your family, you know, they, uh, you trust them and they trust you. And you achieve something that uh, very few people in America actually have, have retained and maintained. It's called a standard. You have integrity. I'm just saying, man, there, there's, you started with this dream and you're right there with all the best. You, you still go to Baltimore and you, and, and then you make, you see an army of beautiful people with their hands invested with passion in the, the, the sanding it, the shaping it, the putting the ear to make sure it stays in tune, you know, gluing the necks, glue, you know, you have infused in people's psyche, uh, real, real genuine concern for uphold the standard. You know, don't, we're not going to make any excuses and, no man, when that guitar lands on your house, you open it up, you smell it, you play it, that thing screams and sings and it's like it's alive. You know, Paul, I, I got to tell you this from the center of my heart, I love that you love to make guitars, man. You can send me a freaking ukulele at this point, and I just love, and I just love it, man. It's, it's, uh, you have fulfilled all my expectations. You have satisfied all my needs over and over and over again. And from one soul to another, I salute you and I say to you, I am very, very grateful uh, for your passion for integrity. And there's nothing you can do for me other than you 
retain your own clarity with good health and your passion to make people happy by giving him an instrument that that instrument, oh, it's gonna get really deep now, that that instrument creates a song that reminds them of the forgotten song inside them. Mm -hmm.